We've probably all seen bar chart races just like these on the internet, say Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. But how are these created? Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, visualizing data can be a fun activity for your students. And I like using these bar chart races to visualize change over time. So let's make our own. Now, the first thing you'll need is a data set with data recorded over time. This could be data collected by your students, or maybe they've done some research and they got a data set online. Now I've got a data set here ready to go, and this is the world population. So let's go ahead and have a look at this data set. Now, as you can see here, all that data is sorted in a CSV file, and that is what I need. Now we have the first column with our country, and then we have all those different years and the data values that have been recorded. Now the first step whenever working with data is to clean up your data. Now, the main thing here will be to make sure that your data is presented in the correct way. Now, if they are in a different format, say that you have rows of countries, now you can always use a pivot table to change that data around. But today we're going to focus on getting this data and visualizing it into a race bar chart. Now, we're going to use a service called Flourish. And so let's have a look at how I get from this raw data to a really cool looking race chart. Now the website we're using is flourish.studio. Now flourish.studio, they have many different data visualizations and one of them is that race bar chart. So let's go ahead and sign up. We're going to click on sign up with Google, use our demo account, there we go. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a new visualization. So go ahead and click on the button, create new visualization. We're going to select the bar chart race. Now, if you can't see it, you can always scroll all the way down and then here you will see bar chart race. I'm going to click on that. Now you get some raw sample data there, but we don't want that. We want to use our own data. So the first thing you have to do is click on the data tab. Once you've done that, we're going to upload our own data. Where do we do that? Well, we do that here on the right hand side. Now you have a drop down menu. You can upload your own file or you can upload data and merge it. Now we don't want to merge anything. We want to use our own data that we have gathered with our students or maybe we've collected it from a reputable source. So let's go ahead and click on upload data file. I'm going to select that and now we're going to find that document. And now here I have my CSV file. So let's go ahead and select our CSV file and import this data. Next, we'll have to select the different columns. Now you can see here, all that data has been imported. We have column A is our country, and then all the rest, these are the years. So we have to define that on the right-hand side. So the label will be A. The values, it says D to ZZ, that's not correct. We start at B, so the values start at B, and they go all the way up to AC. So we're going to just change that right there, A. C. Then the categories. Now the categories, this is what is going to be used for the different colors in your bar chart race. We are going to use different colors for different countries, but maybe you have an additional column there that says which continent that country belongs to. Then you can use that column as your category. I'm going to use the country as the category. So we're going to again select A. Let's change that to A. And then we can add an image. I don't have an image, but this could be a link to an image that you have gathered. Maybe it's a country's flag or another image that you would like to add to your race chart. I'm going to leave this blank. I'm not using an image. Now the next step will be to change the way this is presented to the viewers. So we have all our data. Let's go to preview. This is what our race looks like right now. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of that legend. So we're going to just go down select legend and I'm going to disable that. This gives us a lot more space and now we can tweak everything about this race. We can change how long it takes for that to be completed. We can change the speed, the font used and how all these numbers are represented. That can all be done right here on the right hand side. So for example, we have the time counter. Well, we can make that much larger. So let's just increase the size there. Let's make it 17% of the screen, maybe 25%. We can also increase the size of the total counter. There we go. And we can add our captions. Here we can see the captions are in front of everything. And we can also change the way that these bars are colored. So I'm just going to select a random palette. Let's just go with this palette here. There we go. And we can see in our data that there is a grand total there. 
Now we don't need that in the race. So let's go back to the data. I'm going to go here and let's just scroll all the way down, find the grand total. There it is. And let's just remove that row. Going back, we can now see that we have all our countries and that row has been removed. And there we go. We have our bar chart race. Now let's say that you would like to share this with your students while well, you can always click on publish and export. So here at the top, we can click on export and publish publish to share and export. We can click on publish. This will create a neat little website. You can see the link here. And now everyone can access that bar chart race that you have created. Now, again, you can customize this. You can change the colors, change the font, change the duration. Anything about this visualization can be changed by you by using Flourish and the built-in menus. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Scroll down, let me know in that comment section below. And if you see that the subscribe button is still red, that means you haven't subscribed yet. So go ahead and click on it, scroll back up and find the suggested video. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.